I'm Zach Howell, Chairman of the College Republicans, and I'm here with Congressman John Shadig. Congressman Shadig has been at the forefront of fighting this uh, horrible, massive government takeover of our health care. And we had a couple questions for him today regarding uh, health care as it relates to young people. So, Congressman, thanks so much for uh, My giving us the time. Glad Absolutely. Well, first question we've got for you, in this time of uh, you know unprecedented difficulty for young people trying to find work, is it true that the Democrats want to force you to buy health insurance and furthermore that they'll force you to pay more than ever before for it? It's absolutely true. Um, right now, of course, it's responsible to be insured, but lots of young people say, look, uh, I'm going to take a risk, I'm going to make a prudent decision, I'm not going to buy health insurance because I can't afford it. I'm not saying that's a good idea. Indeed, I'd like to bring the cost of health insurance down so that everybody, including young people just graduated from college, could afford it. But this bill has an individual mandate that says you must buy health insurance. Well, that's one thing. But it says you must buy government-approved health insurance. Right. And, of course, their government-approved health insurance has all kinds of mandates in it. It's phenomenally expensive. And if you don't buy it, then the government is going to fine you. And we discovered after a hearing on the Senate side just a few days ago that in the Bacchus bill, turns out this is probably also true of the House bill, not only will they fine you, but if they discover that you just willfully chose not to buy health insurance after having been told to, you are guilty of a misdemeanor and you can be fined an additional $25,000 or be put in jail for up to a year. Wow. In America, where we're supposed to believe in freedom, they're going to mandate that you buy government-approved health insurance and then find you guilty of a misdemeanor and fine you an additional $25,000 if you don't. Uh, wow. It's an outrage. It is also uh, very, very much more expensive because we're not allowing competition, and it's competition that could bring down the cost of insurance. Right. And, uh, you know, we've heard a lot of Democrats talk about how they've found the ways to uh, make this bill deficit neutral and will not add to the deficit. Is that true? No, it's ridiculously <laughs> untrue. Um, as you know or may know, uh, when Medicare was first adopted, uh, they predicted what it would cost. And in point of fact, they spent that much money, I believe, in either one or two states. Mm -hmm. They didn't cover anybody in the other 48 states for what they predicted it would cost. When the president stands up and says to the American people, we can insure every single American at no additional cost, you got to be going, that just doesn't make sense yeah, to me. Yeah, it doesn't seem to add up. And the truth is the American people are saying right. that's wrong. What we're doing here is we're putting the financial burden from my generation off onto your generation, and quite frankly, with this bill, onto the generation after that. Mm -hmm. um, we can do a much better job. We could provide care, a basic level of care, but not by having the government take right. it from you, and not have, by having the government mandate it. And I think it's kind of interesting. People in your generation believe in choices. Uh, they make choices now. I, I tell people that I have a BlackBerry and a cell phone, right? I don't use my BlackBerry for a, as a phone. I don't use my cell phone as a BlackBerry. Mm -hmm. But all I do with my phone is use it as a cell phone. All I do with my BlackBerry is use it as a BlackBerry. Your generation, you guys are so savvy and so into choices. You know, my daughter and my son go on their BlackBerry. It's also their phone, but they go to the internet. They do, you know, they look up movies. They do a gazillion different things. And of course, you know, the iPhone has thousands of apps. Your generation is into choice. Trust me, this bill gives you no choices. It has the government telling you what an approved healthcare plan is and you better buy it or you're going to get fined. Right, absolutely. Well, what, what, what would you say is a responsible reform for health care? How can we fix the system without uh, bankrupting the country? Yeah, it's, you know, it's really important to ask that because people go, well, right now, what's the Republican answer? I, I hear people back home in Arizona, my state, say, well, we've got to do something about health care uh, reform because there are problems in the current system with pre-existing conditions or the uninsured. Uh, but Republicans don't have an idea. Nothing could be further from the truth. Right. Um, Republicans believe the biggest issue is controlling costs. If you control costs and bring the cost down, then more people will be able to afford insurance. Mm -hmm. What are ways to control costs? Well, right now, insurance companies, health insurance companies, don't compete for our business. Mm -hmm. If you and I get health insurance, it's because we're probably in a group plan. Well, the government insulates the insurance company because it says, only your employer can buy into a group plan tax-free. Right. You and I can't buy into a group plan tax-free. Well, how fair is that? <laughs> so one of the things we want to do is let individual Americans 
either take their employer care or buy into a group plan of their choice tax-free like their employer could do and that will bring down the cost dramatically and will also force the health insurance companies to compete which they don't have to do right now. I mean, you, are, you and I both know if you go home tonight and watch the TV, you'll see a Geico commercial, you'll see an Allstate commercial, you'll see that little girl selling Progressive and telling you, tell me how much you have to spend yeah. and I'll write a policy to meet your needs. You don't see that for health care. The True. reason is that the government protects the health insurance industry from having to compete for our business. So the first thing to bring down cost would be to let you and I buy it tax-free and force the insurance companies to compete with each other. That'll bring down cost, and that'll drive up quality. Um, on the other problems, Republicans also agree that we can cover every American, not with a Cadillac plan, but with basic coverage. We do it right now in emergency rooms, mm -hmm. and the whole issue of pre-existing conditions. My sister's a breast cancer survivor. Um, had she, after she got breast cancer, left her employer and tried to get another job, she might have been in a position where she couldn't get health insurance. Republicans are, have ideas to fix that. I've introduced a bill that passed and President Bush signed it. Of course, the Democrats will tell you that Republicans don't right. never did anything about health care. Uh, and it encouraged the states to create high risk pools so that people with high risks like breast cancer or multiple sclerosis or diabetes, if they got turned down elsewhere, could go into the state high risk pool, get health insurance for all of their needs for a premium that was close to what everybody else pays, about mm -hmm. the same as the healthy pay, and subsidized by the taxpayers or by the other insurance uh, right. people who buy insurance in that state. Uh, we're for solving these problems, and we're for competition, not for government takeover. Right. Well, that sounds much better to me. Congressman yeah. Chetik, thank you so much for taking the time. I appreciate it. Great.